So I wanna teach you how to do dishes the way that Chef taught me when I started working in a kitchen. It's a little different than how I learned to do dishes when I was a, a kid growing up, cooking with my grandmother and my mom at home. So as you're cooking, if you're going to keep up with your mise en place, you need to wash dishes as you go. If you let them pile up, you're gonna use more dishes. It's gonna become a much bigger chore at the end of cooking. When I'm done eating, I'm done. I want to put my dishes that I ate off of into the dishwasher or wash them and, and, be, and, and be done. And I don't want a big mess when I come in to start cooking dinner the next night. So the first thing I want to kind of cover is what you wash dishes with. Some people use a washcloth. I find that is a little, uh, I don't like it. I don't like the feel of it. I don't care for the lack of abrasiveness. Some people use a sponge. A sponge is going to grow and harbor bacteria. One day after the first day you use a sponge, it's going to smell a little bit sour. I've heard some people talk about tricks to kill the germs and bacteria. You can microwave it and kill the germs, but then you're just washing your dishes with dead germs. And I think that that's kind of gross. So I never use a sponge. Uh, if you are going to use them, change them often like a lot. If you're going to use a washcloth, change it often, like one day, one use, then run it through the laundry. For me, I like the green scrubby. So I get the green scrubbies at the Dollar Tree. Um, I have two varieties. I have softer ones that are thinner and a lot softer, and then I have harder ones that I use on pots and pans. They come in bigger squares. I cut them in half. And that way I get more fresh use out of it and I change them all of the time. We use these in the classroom. And so in the classroom at your station, you would get a green scrubby. They, in the, the daytime, the, in the morning, that class gets a new one and the afternoon class before they leave, they throw them away. And sometimes after one class, they get dirty and we just, we, we go through, them. get a fresh one, get a clean one. I wanna use a bunch of them. We don't wash them, we don't reuse them. They're, they're, we, they go in the trash. Again, I get like 10 for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and I cut them into pieces. So I was raised to fill a sink full of water and put soap into it and wash my dishes. When I started working with the chef, he taught me a couple of things. One thing, I need my sink. When I'm cooking, when I'm prepping, I need to be able to come over here and wash some vegetables or you know, just rinse something off. And that sink full of water, it's gonna get cold really fast. That soap is gonna die really fast. And so really by the time you've washed a couple of things, things are not getting clean in that water. You got food floating around in it, the soap is dead, it's lukewarm, nothing, nothing's getting clean there. And so if you really want to make sure that everything gets clean and germ free, wash as you go, just, just wash it with the scrubby. So I take my scrubby, I put some soap on it, I get it wet, I get it soaked up, I soak up my product. I don't have my water running right now. So I get my product nice and soapy. That's really nice and soapy. You always wanna wash things that touch your mouth first. Um, it's particularly if you're going to be using the dish water within the sink. So your glasses and your silverware should always be washed first. If you're going to wash as you go, it doesn't really matter because you pretty much keep everything fresh. So I'll wash my two or three things that I had. I got my water pretty nice and hot for rinsing. I rinse each thing really well. Ultimately, I do use less water. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the students want to let the water run while they're standing there washing dishes. I don't recommend that, don't do that. You're just wasting water. But if you're, if you're not making a big sink full of water and a big sink full of rinse, and really you're just using rinse water, then you're gonna use less water. I use a tiny little bit more soap doing it this way because if I, the, more, the bigger meal that I'm making, the more dishes, the more I put, uh, soap on my scrubby at the end of the evening. I'm probably going to throw, throw that scrubby away, but ultimately I'm happy to use a little bit more soap. I feel like everything gets a lot more clean. Everything gets clean that way. 
I have a dish drainer built into my sink. You may have a basket at your house. Sometimes you might even put that down into a sink. If you wipe the dishes with a dish cloth, um, they still don't get completely dry. And so dishes do need to do some amount of air drying. Either let them air dry and then wipe them. Generally, I like to wipe them and then air dry them or air dry totally if I don't have a whole lot. In the classroom, it's kind of hard when you're on a time crunch at the end of the lab, but dish, every dish needs to be dried, cleaned, dried, and put away, and then they get checked out. Here at my house, I never put wet dishes away. Uh, when you put wet dishes into a cabinet, you can ruin your cabinet and you can also um, attract bugs to that water and that moisture, particularly once if it soaks into the wood and the wood starts kind of rotting inside the cabinet. So you can completely ruin cabinets that way. So don't put dishes up wet. Make sure everything gets rinsed really well, gets uh, dried really well. Everything gets cleaned. Clean as you go. You, you, you wash a lot less dishes, so if I had a bowl that I used, I'm going to use that same bowl, give it a quick rinse, give it a, a nice nice wash, a set of tongs. You know, I rinse or wash my tongs often. If I were frying something over here, I flipped it over raw. I don't want to use those tongs that touch something raw to touch cooked meat. That will cross-contaminate. So I just come over here and give it a quick wash. So if you just get in the habit as you cook, you've got a minute or two here or there and you just wash quick, then you don't ever really stand there and do a whole load of dishes. You don't ever rinse your hand, get your hands down in that gross, nasty water and everything gets clean and everything gets sanitized. So this is my way. Feel free to do, uh, to do what makes you comfortable and whatever works for you. Uh, this is just more efficient. It's less time, it's less work, and it makes the, the cooking a lot less of a chore. So, thanks.